Today I'm going to show you some great basketball shooting drills with cones. In basketball training, cones have often got a bad rap as coaches will say they can't simulate real player interaction. So they call cones useless and ineffective. At Attack Basketball Academy, we beg to differ. We want to teach you a way to not only use cones effectively, but use them to enhance your shooting training. I'm Coach Charlie with Attack Basketball Academy. As Premier Basketball Player Development Coach, I have trained thousands of high school players all over the world with these drills to be consistent, accurate shooters. So on this video today, I'm going to show you how to use cones to guarantee shooting success. Next, I'm going to tell you the secret to using cones and drills that most coaches don't know. Last, I'm going to show you one cone drill that will take your whole game to a new level. And on top of that, I have a bonus that I'll give to you, but only if you stick around to the very end. All right, let's get right into how to use cones to guarantee your shooting success. See, the cones are known as disruptors, and the cones represent the size of a defender's body. This is their left side. This is their right side. And what is this disruptor to do for you in training? Well, to throw your time and rhythm and balance and control off. But if you think they're just mere objects, and you can just go through the cones, of course it's ineffective. Of course they can't simulate real play interaction. But if you use them with your creative imagination to understand that that represents somebody's left side of the body and right side, I can't go through them, I have to go around them, then you'll learn how to attack the cones. And now the cones can enhance your shooting and guarantee your success because you understand how to stop in front of them, how even not to belly out when you attack them to get as close as you can to them. So when you get a real defender on you, you simulate the real action. Now you have real player interaction. I can't go through the cones, you're correct, that's ineffective. But I can go around the cones as close as I can. I can't stop at the cones for shooting success. So then when I get a real live person in front of me, I mimic the same movements. That's why cones are really good and effective to use, especially when you don't have somebody with you. They act as if they're the size of somebody's body that you can get as close as you can to to attack, so then when you do get a live person, you do the same thing. We're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the month, and we need your help. We roll out five new videos every week to help you become a premium basketball player. So help us reach our goal and click that subscribe button. Now let me tell you the secret to using the cones and drills that most coaches don't know. See, there is a mentality you need to understand that's going to help you believe that the cones are a person. That's why they are very effective. And that mentality is simply called close body attack. I'm going to say it again, three words, close body attack. So when I go into close body attack, I want to get as close to the cones as possible to then make what's called my bi-directional move, the move that makes sense, the actual next move that comes up. When it comes to, say, a dribble move into a shot, and I went directly at the cones, it's ineffective to actually make the dribble move right here, because one can think, if that was a real player, they can step in front of me. So what I want to do is execute what's called foot fire feet, small choppy steps like a closeout on defense, get as close as I can to that defender, and then go by them. Now, again, I'm simulating real game time action where now if I face you at home, I want you to see something that I'm attacking the same way, right? I went with a direct step. I'm close to this defender, right? I'm not bellying out. I got to go around them on a cross step, get ready for a shot move. Look how close I am to the cone. So I want to get close to the cone so I can body the cones and then attack, get away. And my attack can be a shot at them. It could be a dribble move by them. And then lastly, if I had a partner in this drill situation, it could be a pass to simulate me driving and kicking to a teammate. So that's the mentality you want to develop when you're using cones. Get close to the cones as possible, body the cones, make first contact like you would do a real world defender, and then attack them at the line of attack. Bang, boom, get out, shot, right? Bang, boom, bang, get out. And I'm close to the cones, right? Close body attack. Close body attack, keep that in mind. Now that you know the trick to using cones effectively, 
I want you to comment below with close body attack and click the thumbs up to let us know you like this video. Now I'm going to show you the one cone drill that will take your whole game to a new level. Now this is the drill I love. I even love this as a, a coach because it works your total game as I just said. Right? It's called complete player drill. Now watch this. So first, I'm going to close out like I'm playing defense. And I'm closing out to the perimeter. Now my right foot is going to match this cone. My left foot is going to match this, this cone as if I'm closing out. After I close out, I do a zigzag defensive stance slide all the way back to the baseline. Then what I do, even if I have the ball, I sprint out after I make that move and I pop out like I do an L cut. I toss the ball to myself and I go into a scoring opportunity, right? In this case, I'm going to a pull up jump shot, okay? So I'm working on my whole game. When I come up here for my L cut, I have two more cones I have to get above and then make a sweeping move into a jump shot opportunity. So kind of walking through this, I close out, sprint, throw my hands up even though I have the ball. I do a zigzag slide all the way back to the baseline, right? Another close out sprint, toss the ball, catch it, attack, pull up jumper. Think about that. Right, working on some defense, working on some offense, working on attacking, complete body game. Close out, slides, 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 slides. Another close out, spin it, hitch it, bang, boom, lift up, shoot it. That's one, right? Have fun with the game. Close out, footwork, bang, slides, 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 close out. Now, give him a fake, fake, lift, shot, bang, one more, close out, hands up, slide, 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 three, two, one, take off, got him. This drill also works as a physical conditioning drill, as you hear me um, breathing hard, right, having fun with it. I'm working on my closeout game, my defensive slide game, my closeout to an L cut, V cut, whatever you want, into a drill move, and then you gotta do what? Pull up for that jumper. That's how you use cones. That's how you use them effectively. And every cone I came, every time I came to these cones, I got close to the cones, I bodied the cones, and I attacked them with a what? Jumper in the cone's face. Let's keep the momentum going with that bonus I mentioned earlier. We've covered a lot in this video, and I really want to make sure I'm helping you out. So I'd like to offer you a guide that covers all the muscle and basketball principles and in what switch to apply them. This is a powerful guide of best practice tips and skills empowering you to take charge of your game. Just click the link in the description below. You can download the guide I put together as my gift to you. And if you're interested in learning all kinds of signature attack basketball shooting drills with and without cones to become a consistent, repeatable straight line shooter, Check out our eight-week shot fix course that we found at the same link. Enjoy your gift and keep attacking.